Well, I guess I should have checked the picture tube first with the CRT tester because this is the result. This is brightness and contrast up full. The picture tube is absolutely past its use by date. Um, I've tried to give it a, a filament boost. I've given it a, given it a, um, a couple of rejuvenation kicks with my BNK, and that's as good as it gets. It probably looks a wee bit wee bit. Probably doesn't look too bad on the camera, but basically it's it's stuffed. It's had it, um, and we're going to get one of these. I don't know. Um, I'd have to find another set for parts or another something from somewhere but I don't have any 11 inch bits of tubes at all for spare parts this is be the only the only one yeah a bit of a bugger really I'm actually a wee bit disappointed about that because um yeah it's not a bad little set it actually would have been quite which actually would have been quite good to have actually gotten it going yeah so um hmm oh well you can't win them all I suppose at least you know, at least at least I know the electronics of it's okay, and you never know. I might, I might pick up another one at some stage with a faulty transformer or one in really really poor condition, and you know, might maybe make make one out of two. So yeah, no, it's um, it's uh, and I've got no, and there's something wrong with the something wrong with the sound too. It's uh, that's it. There's no audio at all. There's no audio at all whatsoever. So um, so you've got also got that problem as well. Just nothing at all. Um, yeah, and to top it all off, bloody hole control was busted. Someone actually pretty completely broke broke the slug off. As you can see, and I had to sort of sort of get in through the back and sort of turn it with a pair of pliers and manage to get the picture to lock. But it's it's not very stable. Like it's been it's been sort of jumping sideways, and obviously it's got sync problems too. And hence why probably the horizontal hole, hole control is being broggled to the point where the iron core all broke off on the inside yeah so I guess that pretty much ends this video for now um oh well, at least you guys have had a chance to see a nice little portable New Zealand made TV um yeah so it's, it's, it's been on for about a quarter of an hour but it's actually not hot so maybe it heats up when it's in the cabinet who knows who knows who knows so yeah, um, I tried running it on about 8 volts for half an hour and I said I tried a couple of rejuvenation techniques and nah, this is pretty much as, as good as it gets. I mean, you know, it might, you know, it may improve with use, but I mean, there's no point. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, yeah, um, unless you guys have got any, any other ideas on how I might be able to breathe some life back into this tube. Um, the other way too, I've actually got... Um, one thing I have got, I've got, I've actually got these, um, these little, um, little filament boost, boosting transformers, basically the beta equivalent to like brighteners. I like, oh, maybe I could try one of those on it and, and see what happens. Um, actually, I just think she might go and get one of those because I'm pretty certain, pretty certain I can lay my hands on one of those fairly quickly. Um, hmm. Okay, hold that thought back in a second. I'll go and put one in and see what it does. Here it is. It's called a. Beacon TV picture tube booster type F52 for 300 milliamp tubes. Again, another local local New Zealand made little little boost transformer of some kind. So I've got it on the 8 volt tap. So I'm just going to leave it on leave it on there and um, basically just that plugs into there, and then the wires that come out out of it. Just basically packed into there, fairly, straight, fairly straightforward and, and standard, so what I'll do, I'm going to swing it around again and see what results I get oh, there is, so, there is some problem too with the, with the, with the um, line output stage, occasionally the uh, PL81 arcs over and something goes, something goes flash, crack, pop I've, I've, I've saw the, the um, PL81 flash blue a couple of times and the picture momentarily disappears so obviously there's something in the high voltage breaking down probably well probably one of those caps or something or something arcing over but at this point in time I'm much not too worried about that um, seems to be um oh okay well actually that is actually not 
Oh, well, it's better. I'll give it that. Sure, that's that's a. Shit, that's actually it's a, again, again. It actually looks probably looks probably looks really really bright on the on the video camera, but it's yeah, it's not too bad. You could actually you could actually probably sit and watch that. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's all right. It's it's, it's, it's yeah. You're not too shabby, that is it? Um, you know, I probably wouldn't suggest you run it for long periods of time, but uh, well, I mean, the tube's naked, so you know, it's, it's no ram, but um, yeah, it's actually not too bad. <laughs> um, because that's pretty much bright, that's pretty much brightness and contrast turned up full, so there's virtually there's virtually bugger all brightness range. I mean, again, that probably looks brighter on the camera, but in, I mean, it's actually what it's doing. It's actually starting to sort of I don't know. It's like it's going all it's going really really smeary. But um, oh, look, look, look at that. The, the the horizontal oscillator's right. It's actually folding over on itself, so it's obviously got issues as well. Like it's it's well, well out of range. Ah. I just found out why we have no sound. No. No, okay. It's alright. I thought it might have been my um because I run I run it I run it through an old old Mitsubishi Hi-Fi video through to a DVD player because this VCR ignores macrovision so I can I can play any any DVD I like through and I thought maybe that was on normal rather than hi-fi, but no, it's made no difference, so it doesn't matter. I'll worry about that later, but Tommy, just there. Yeah, that's, that's actually, um, you know, once once that picture fills the screen and everything, that actually actually she she, she would probably actually be quite watchable. You could probably actually sit there and watch that. So I might just turn it off and um, just drop it down to the seven volt filament tap and see if it's sort of notice of the if the picture's any more degraded. So back in a sec. Okay, put it on the 7 volt tap, let's see what happens. Waiting, 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 here we go. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not as bright. No, definitely not as bright. So the eight volt tap, the eight volt tap would have to be probably the one to use. And since I have no sound, I can't play the music which is on the soundtrack. And YouTube can't flag this as a copyright video, can they? No, because there's no sound. Unless they want to copyright that noise, bloody video, video and frame buzz. It's again, even though it probably looks probably looks brighter on the camera. It's yeah, no, nah, in person, it's yeah. I probably have to be on the on the eight volt tap in order to watch that comfortably. I mean, it's not too dark in here, but it's 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 the lights. So the lighting's really it's got got these um, these uh, fluorescent bulbs here, uh, lights in here, plus counterpoise lamps in the workshop and. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's it's the sort of thing you wouldn't want to try and watch during the day, so. Oh, well, I guess what, I, I guess I might, as well, might as well just wrap it up here, and, uh, yeah, might as well just um, call it a day for now. Um, yeah, so, well, I hope the other TV that has come from the same person hasn't hasn't got a, hasn't got a worn-out picture tube like this one. Um, that'd be a little, that, that, that would be rather annoying, because... The one, the other, the other, the other, the other set is also a bell, but a bigger one. That one, that I'm, the other one that I'm getting, um, I've got another one in my collection, which is the tube is absolute. Again, the tube is just rural roll low mission. I'm hoping the tube and this other one's better, so I could probably make one out of two because apparently, apparently the set's not in that. The set isn't isn't in that in that greater condition. So, 
Um, apparently cabinet wise is quite rough, so I'm sort of hoping that might have a better tube and I can end up making one out of two. Okay, well, I guess I'll leave it here. Um, yeah, alright. One last look on the side just for the hell of it. I'm not too sure what to do about that hole control. That's, you know, you might have to maybe maybe feed another iron core or something, another core or something down there because it's completely and utterly busted off on that end. So, but, um, yeah, oh well. I guess we'll uh, worry about it when we come to it. Alright, well, um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this video videos on a 11 inch Bellroy portable black and white TV from the 1960s so thanks for watching and um, yeah cheers bye for now I'll turn it off and see what happens watch the watch the dot on the screen